So the question for today is, should you go to an Ironman branded race to spectate or are you gonna get stuck in the hotel room? Well, you know what? Stay right here for some really great information. So my goal here was to go out to this race, having been to Ironman Florida and seeing all of the precautions that they put on there and seeing what would be different considering this race was canceled not several weeks after Ironman Florida in the fall. So we came back here and we're gonna race Ironman Florida 70.3 in Haines City. I have three people that I'm in the race. Two are my athletes and one is one of my coaching mentor. And if you, if you want to find out what my mentoring program is, go down below. There's a link down below to my website. It'll explain the whole thing. While you're there, if you're getting good information from this video, make sure you hit subscribe. My position was to go to the race and see if I can spectate at the race without uh, a lot of incidents or being only a couple hours away from home. If there was issues, I would just go ahead and head home. But then... I didn't know of this, but Iron Man sent out some information before the race. You see it right here. This little information sheet was sent out and, and it was a welcome to the racers with this little caveat built in here right at the bottom that says spectators won't be able to enter Lake Eva Park, but they can certainly spread out over the bike and run courses to cheer you on. This appeared to me to be softening of the position Iron Man had of no spectators at all. But to see what happened, here we go, going out to the man in the field, which happens to be me, at Iron Man Florida 70.3, and let's see what kind of day I had with my athletes. Well, I've arrived at Iron Man Florida 70.3, so what my goal is today is to show you how you can spectate at a race where there is no spectators. It's oh dark 30 in the morning. It's time to go find my three horses I have in this race and wish them luck. So I'm working my way down uh, as close as I can to uh, bike exit as you can see. At this point, I mean literally I can stand right here watching the uh, athletes leave on bike exit. They have changed uh, how transition is set up here. Well, normally you would exit way at the far side of the library. They've changed it. I'm sure that's to open up the transition and make it more uh, COVID friendly. But here's where the athletes are going in. And this is how close you can get to uh, kicks. I've tried to see how close I can get to swim exit. I'm literally standing right now, oh, about 30 yards from the water's edge. Uh, I'll be able, to be able to high five the athletes as they run by into uh, bike transition. Although everything seems a little spread out, long walks to get to anywhere, but if you uh, get very uh, strategic, you can find some really good spots to see your athletes. So one of the shots I wanted to get for you guys on this uh, adventure of spectating where there's no spectators is the entrance into Iron Man Village where they kind of have you blocked off. But literally, you can see Iron Man Village right here behind me. It's not that far away, but I can't even get to the entrance of Iron Man Village because they have Lake Eva Park completely shut off. The closest I can get is with barricade right behind me, which is right toward the end of uh, the transition area. So they've done a really good job of keeping uh, people out of Iron Man Village. Uh, but like I say, if you want to turn this around, this is uh, the no spectator area 
uh, waiting for the pro bikes to come back in, which should be any minute. And these are the cyclists coming through right now. that uh, was advertised by Iron Man as being uh, no spectators. There was thousands of people around. There are plenty of places to watch a race. So if you're worried about going to an Iron Man race and being stuck in a hotel room while your uh, your significant other spouse or friend is racing, it's not going to happen. There's plenty of places to watch the race from. There's plenty of areas to uh, just have a good time when you're out here on the course. I met some great people today. So. If, Go ahead, if you like your content, go right here, subscribe, check out these videos right here, and we'll come back and see you again at another race at another time. This is Coach John. Boom. I'm out.